Keith Thurman versus Terrence Crawford. Thurman says sent him a legitimate contract offer and uh, watch him sign it. I guess losing his belt has reignited a hunger in him. But uh, Terrence Crawford seems as though he he just he doesn't seem like he doesn't think that Keith Thurman is serious. Um, I feel that regardless if it's serious or not, that skill wise. This will make for a very exciting matchup. Uh, both of them have very good feet work. In my opinion, Terrence Crawford has better pivoting feet work. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford, he doesn't so much set up counter punches off of movement like Keith Thurman does, but he attacks and pivots very well. You know, he'll uh, launch an attack, pivot, switch stances, and then finish the attack. Or launch an attack, pivot, and just finish the attack in the same stance. You know, Terrence Crawford is a very cerebral fighter and he is dangerous. If Keith Thurman underestimates Terrence Crawford for one moment, I don't doubt that he will get hurt bad. But Terrence Crawford definitely has to respect Keith Thurman's power and he does have to respect Keith Thurman's boxing IQ. Terrence Crawford hasn't been in the ring with a boxer with a high level of physical abilities matched with the high IQ that Keith Thurman has as well. I, I do feel that if Terrence Crawford can get buzzed by a fighter as small as Gamboa or a fighter as small as uh, Kavioskis, that Keith Thurman definitely could hurt him if he lands a, a solid shot. Um, but Keith Thurman has showed a susceptibility to body shots, so he has to be cognizant of that uh, um, level change attack from Terrence Crawford, as well as his stance change, because nothing will stop Terrence Crawford from changing to that southpaw position and throwing that straight left right into that liver if he feels like your body is not up to par and is not going to be able to take his body shots. Um, at the same time, Terrence Crawford, when he gets caught with a shot and it's flush, he gets caught up a little bit in his ego and he gets into a dogfight and tries to get it back. I don't feel like that would be productive for him against a fighter like Keith Thurman because when uh, fighters get into the, the slugging exchanges with Thurman, for the most part, he gets the better of slugging exchanges. Um, if he could get his opponent into a slugging exchange, he does uh, very, very well for the most part. But Terrence Crawford is no joke, man. You know, he's, he's a champ for a reason, and Thurman must respect his abilities.